Good morning. I'm Reverend Mandy Harris and I'm curate at St Giles Church Sheldon and St Peter's Church Tilecross. Every day we want to bring a prayer for you. Sometimes it will be spoken almost in person like this and other times it will appear on our Facebook page by writing but know that there'll always be something here to aid you in your daily devotions. Today I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer but with a difference. As my husband reads out each line in between I'll read for you an exposition which was written by St Francis of Assisi and hopefully his reflections will help us all to inwardly digest the real meaning of the Lord's Prayer, a prayer that we so often say by rote without properly thinking it through. Let us pray. Our Father, our Creator, Redeemer, Comforter and Saviour, who art in heaven. You are with the angels and the saints, bathing them in your light, that they may be enlightened by your love, and dwelling within them, that they be filled with your joy. You are the supreme good, the eternal good, from whom comes all goodness, and without whom there is no goodness. Hallowed be your name. May our knowledge of you become ever clearer, that we may know the breadth of your blessings, the length of your promises, the height of your majesty, and the depth of your judgment. Your kingdom come. Rule in our hearts with your grace, that we may become fit subjects for your kingdom. We desire nothing more than to dwell in your kingdom, where we can watch you on your throne and enjoy your perfect love. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May we love you with our whole heart by always thinking of you, with our whole soul by always desiring you, with our whole mind by directing all our intentions to you and with our whole strength by spending all our energies in your service. And may we love our neighbours as ourselves, drawing them to your love, rejoicing in their good fortunes and caring for them in their misfortunes. Give us this day our daily bread. In memory and understanding and reverence of the love which the Lord Jesus Christ has for us, revealed by his sacrifices for us on the cross, we ask for the perfect bread of his body. And forgive us our trespasses. We know that you forgive us through the suffering and death of your beloved Son. As we forgive those who trespass against us, Enable us to forgive perfectly and without reserve any wrong that has been committed against us and strengthen our hearts truly to love our enemies, praying for them and striving to serve them. And lead us not into temptation. Save us not only from obvious and persistent temptations, but also those that are hidden or come suddenly when our guard is lowered but deliver us from evil. Protect us from past evil. Protect us against present evil and free us from future evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 